confidence, inspiration, perseverance, consistency. Let's do this. Hey guys, it's uh, Arc of uh, Arc and Training. Uh, it's Sunday evening uh, here in uh, Texas. I wanted to give you a quote and a bit of commentary about the quote to perhaps help inspire you. Um, here comes the cat. Let's see if she comes on the desk. Anyways, the quote that I want to read is actually from a book called Relaxation on the Run by Jay Winner, MD. Uh, he's actually a Santa Bar Barian, Santa Barbara. Um, and when I read this quote, and a good friend of mine recommended this book, um, it kind of hit me a lot because I think it applied a lot to my life. And so I'd like to share it with you and talk about what it means. Um, quote, for a long time it had seemed to me that life was about to begin, real life. But there was always some obstacle in the way, something to be got through first, some unfinished business, time still to be served, a debt to be paid. Then life would begin. At last it dawned on me that these obstacles were my life. By, unquote, by Alfred de Souza, a uh, clergy. And it, it's, when I read that originally, when I first got the book a few years ago, um, it hit me like a ton of bricks because there's always, in my mind, there had always been a perfect moment to do the next project. So I can't do that until I do this. Um, even today, it's like, I can't finish my headboard for the bed because I don't have space for it. And, you know, there's always an obstacle in the way. And it's very easy to put excuses in the way of action. And at the end of the day, um, I think the strategy that worked the best for me is to write down what my thought was and then come up with the blocks and basically regurgitate in my daily journal what my thoughts were. So looking at, you know, the thought process of why I couldn't do something and going through and writing out what I couldn't do and then all the 20, 30 excuses that I had for not being able to do it. So and it's kind of humorous because you look back at some of these excuses and you're just like, what? You're nuts. That, it doesn't matter. Just do it. So. It's uh, rather entertaining, and I think for me, I've been in search of this perfect life for quite a while, and I've been on a bit of a walkabout, and I'm here in San Antonio now. I lived 17 years in Santa Barbara, which is an absolutely gorgeous place to live, but very expensive, and there's some, uh, I think, issues going on there now. I went up to Seattle, and you know, it was kind of a cool place. Seattle is a very cool place to live, but the weather just did me in. I need my sunshine. Uh, growing up in Phoenix and then living in California for so many years, 95% of my life, I need the sunshine. So, but it's interesting when you think about a bike ride. It's like, well, I don't have the perfect shorts for a bike ride. I can't go for a bike ride. That's BS. It doesn't matter if you have the perfect shorts for the bike ride. Just go out and ride the bike. Just go out and do it. So, I want to challenge you this week before next Sunday, which I'll post another quote and have a commentary, is your challenge for this week is if you are putting an obstacle in front of something you want to do, write out the obstacle, write out your, well, write out what you want to do, write out the obstacles that you're putting in the way, and then figure out how you can get it done and remove the obstacles. Are the obstacles really real? I bet you they're not. I bet you they're all up here, because there's a lot of shit that goes on up here. Oops, sorry. The bleep, the bleep, bleep, bleep it. Um, you know, there's a lot of stuff that goes on up here that uh, comes up naturally, and you're probably putting up obstacles and not even realizing it. So that's the quote. Check out uh, Relaxation on the Run by Jay Winter, MD. Um, and, you know, don't let those obstacles dictate your life. There's never a perfect moment for anything. Just do it. Get it done.